Since the last time I saw you with Ijoma, I haven't seen you again. Or have you relocated to the city permanently? No. Yes, now. You know, you students, once you graduate, you just reside at the city and forget about us in the village. That's not true. You know, after school, it's youth service. That's what I'm rolling around for. Biko, how is Ijoma, my friend? Well, Ijoma is fine. Uh -huh, that reminds me. I want you to do something for me. Okay. Please, help me talk to Ijoma to forgive the father of her child. Myself and Mama have spoken to her, but she doesn't want to listen to any of us. Maybe you try. Let her know that if she forgives him, peace will reign in her heart. I've equally asked her to forgive. Just that the trauma with rape and pregnancy is only too hard to forgive. We will pray that God touches her spirits. We will keep on talking them. Sorry to stress. Your face look kind of striking. I, are you not the same girl I, I met at Ijema's house the other time? Oh, yeah, I remember. You're Chinedo, right? Oh, yes. Um, good thing I met you. Um, you are someone close to her. Please, I need you to talk to Ijema for me. Please. Tell her I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for everything. I regret all my actions. You know, there are stupid things that we do out of, you know, youthful exuberance and all that. But now I know better. Please, make her understand that I'm a changed person now. Please. Okay, don't worry. I've never met a man like you that is so humble and patient. But the truth is that you may not love Ijoma. You're only doing this just because you want the child. You know, you men can be so cunning. You never can tell. You can't be sure. And let me remind you. Whether I ask for forgiveness or not, and whether she forgives me or not, it does not matter. The child is mine. And when she grows, she will definitely ask of the father. But that's not what I want. I want a situation whereby we do what is good. Because what is what doing is what doing good. Yeah, and that is why I've, you know, please talk to her for me. Or better still, you can just give me her line so that I can call her and, you know, make her see reasons with me. I'll give you a number, but please, 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 don't tell her I gave you a number, please. Trust me, I won't tell her. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. Okay, um, can I still remember? Oh, oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah, there you okay. go. Okay. Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. That's so nice. Seems here. Oh. Can I sit? Yes, please. I learned you and I a lawyer, a solicitor. That's wonderful. <laughs> when Nandi told me you were a lawyer, I was so elated. You see, in life, dreams die when there is no one to assist in transforming that dreams into reality. 
Someone that would transform paradoxes of life into platitude. See how you've just transformed. That's great. Thank you very much, my king. <laughs> and I want to say a bigger thank you to you, Nandi. You showed up and rescued a dying dream. I will forever be indebted to this royal home. And on that note, I wish to make this announcement. <laughs> I will want to be the police and community lawyer free of charge, just to show how committed I am to the king and Nambi here for seeing me through school. That's great. You mean you do a cases pro bono? Very much. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. She's granted. Thank you very much. Thank you too. Thank you. Me, how are you? I'm fine. Welcome. I got you something. <laughs> oh. Amara, your mother is calling you. Do I have a mother? No. I don't. But I'm not auntie because you rescued me. She could have killed an innocent baby and found her way into her womb. Daddy, because you welcomed me to this palace and gave me a sleeping mat. At your daisy, you took me as a last born and made me sleep with you on your own royal bed. She could have killed me and buried me as she always threatened. Did I offend you? Tell me, did I offend you? <laughs> if not want you, Doka and Grandma, I don't know what I would have done. Amarachi, you are still the intelligent girl that you are. The fact that you were able to recount all these miserable stories shows you are still the intelligent girl that you are. I warned you. I advised you to hook up with her. Love her. Show her love. Find a way to erase all the sad memories she had. I wonder how she will forget all this. Anyway, I know it is the strains and stress of schools that will strain you from carrying out my instructions. That's not an excuse. Hello. Have I always gotten you what you want? Same as Daddy here, right? Gets you everything that you want and you're fine. How about Auntie Daisy? She's always making sure that you're happy. <laughs> Why can't my mother treat me like Auntie Daisy and Auntie Kate? Auntie Kate bought for me new clothes and new shoes. For the past five good years, I will set my eyes on you. Where were you when I needed you most? Where were you? But don't worry. I don't need your things. When I see my own daddy, I will tell him everything you have done to me. Uh, it's okay. Kate was here yesterday and she bought her things. You know that I love you. I've always looked out for you. I protected you. I've never lied to you. I want you to have a forgiving heart. Every human being have what I call the good, the bad, and the ugly. Let's just say that we 
saw quite early in your mother's life her bad side and maybe ugly side. Her times have passed. She has grown just like you have grown into a very beautiful young lady. Your mother has also grown to be more understanding, to become more mature. Now she values you more. Your mother has a beautiful heart. I want you for my sake, for daddy's sake, the sake of her dear Daisy that you love so much, to forgive. She's your mother. I want you to look at the woman who brought you into this world and forgive her. Mothers are irreplaceable, I tell you. Be good in them. I know that you're hurt, but I know that you can do it. Please, go to your mother. She misses you so much. Amarachi. Daddy. Forgive your mother. Find a place in your heart to forgive her. She has really changed. You are still part and parcel of this family. You are still the little princess of our palace. Anywhere you are, will not forget you. If anybody dares you any time, any day, I will roar like the lion I am and show that person as a cracker's biscuit. Forgive her. I don't want you to think I left because I wanted to. I just needed time to heal. I needed to find peace with myself. I needed to understand that I have a child. I beg you. Please forgive me. I know there is no justifiable reason whatsoever for everything I did to you. But I am deeply sorry. I had lost my father at the same time. I, I knew I was pregnant with you. Best fruit. Please. Make you my child. My first fruit. Please forgive me. I didn't, I didn't mean any of those things. And forgiving spirit.
You really hurt that girl, you know. Your actions affected her in so many ways. But, um, she has a good heart. You know, she came to me last night and told me that she would like to come home and spend some time with you and Grandma. She, she, she said that to you? Yeah, she did. I really love for that to happen. I want her back. At least to see a new me. That would be nice. You know, I'd like to ask you something. Go ahead. Do you love me? Listen, I want you to put aside the fact that you see me as a benefactor, as a prince, as, as one who's been there for you, if you all through this time. I want you to tell me if you love me. As human, sitting right in front of me. The fact that um, that you were courageous the very first day I met you, with all my stunts and everything, you didn't shout, you didn't hit me. You just took my daughter and listened. And the fact that you fulfilled your promises, it's amazing. So of all the things that you have mentioned, which is closest to your heart? The fact that I went to school, read law, became a lawyer. And the fact that you never looked back and fulfilled all your promises. I appreciate that. And since you appreciate me, can I... Can I ask you a favor? Go ahead. Anything, I'll do it. <laughs> I'd like for you to please forgive this man who violated you so many years ago. You told me he's been coming. You told me he's been begging. He's been trying to get a word in. He's been trying to get across to you. He's been doing the best that he can, please. Please. I know it's hard. But you can do it. I want you to have a forgiving heart. Amarachi, your daughter, forgive you. You can forgive him. I don't know who this man is, but he's a man like me. And I'm not infallible either. I'm a human being. With so many imperfections. Yet you love me. How about you just... <sighs> love him a little and let it go. Tomorrow he's pregnant with so many possibilities. You don't have to be with him if you don't want to, but he can be your family friend. He is still the father of your child. Please. Please.
also kill you. I forgive him. Thank you. You promise that when he comes to you, you're going to listen to him. What is with you and this rapist? I'm a barrister. What? Stop using the word rapist, okay? Please. I want you to promise me again that you would hear him out when he comes to you. Listen to what he has to say. You never know. A lot of years has passed by, you know. We're all getting better. I have gotten better. You have gotten better. What if he has? You never know. Just hear him out. Please. 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 Okay. Can I go back to my food now? Please. I said, okay, can I go back to my food? Thank you. Thank you. So can I go back? I have one you? last favor to ask. Okay, what is it again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, here it is. Um, if I ask you to be my woman, would you say yes? Shut up, but say that again. <sighs> if I propose to you, you say yes. If that is a proposal, I'll say yes. I mean, yes! 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 I. Come on! It's okay, it's fine. I hear you. Come on. It's okay. <laughs> Thank you. However, I'm going to plan a proposal. Because I'm not just going to leave you for anyone. You're a good woman. You're beautiful. You're humble. I know. You're kind hearted. I know. <laughs> stop it, stop smiling like that. That was a joke, thank you. <laughs> Cutie. You've been wanting to eat, so how about um, Yes. Um Hey, I have I have fat color now. And you're sure you wouldn't take it back because I know you Capable of doing such things. You know, I keep my promises, don't you? That's very true. You know. <laughs> you never failed me. <laughs> Get for you. Thank you. <laughs> Why are you not eating? I'm just getting started. <laughs> yes, who's this? Yeah, this is Chinedu Okafo. My cosmate? No. The father of your child. Who gave you my number? When a masquerade flocks the wrong person, it goes out of its way to pacify him or her. I've called you so that we can see and discuss on how to sort this thing out once and for all. Listen to me. I am not going to have any talk with you. I have forgiven you. But please, don't you ever in your life call my number again. When your daughter comes of age, you can have a talk with her and then you two can settle amicably. As for me, leave me alone. Don't you ever call my number again. Listen, you need... Hello? 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 At least she picked and talked to you, even when she knew it was you that. 
Step by step, she will calm down. Did you forget that? That girl has bad mind. What will she say? Okay, Chinedu, I have forgiven you from the depth of my heart. And for real, like for real. When? But I told you she said that. From her lips, not from her heart. She hung the phone, you know. Every woman would do the same. Call her back later in the day. Send her text messages. Ah, you should know how to get a woman's mind. Look, I'm very sure she would definitely calm down. Yes. Uh... I think I've learned my lesson. Yeah, and I mean. want to set things right again. <clears throat> Give me a second chance just to write my hey, words. You. I'll I make you. it up to you. Hey, How are you? Not fine. Why? What's the problem? You had a problem. Yes, 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 yes. Talk to me. Sit. Brother, please forgive Auntie Kate. You asked me to forgive my mother, and I did. Brother, she's a good person, and she'll be very nice to me. Please forgive her. Kate and I are not quarreling, okay? We're fine. I have forgiven her. Um, we're not quarreling. Is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, since you have forgiven her mm -hmm. and you're not quarreling, please call her to come over so we can stay together. But what are we going to be doing? What you want to host us? <laughs> what? Brother, please. What, what? What? Okay. What if she's busy? I mean, look. I'll, I, I'm sure she's busy. What are you doing? Wait. I'm gonna come on now. That's my fault. What are you doing? I'm a. Hello, Auntie Kate. Yes, it's me, Amarachi. Please come to the palace. Brother Amnadi wants to see you. Okay. Thank you. Did I ask you to say that? What if you don't? I didn't ask you to say that. No. But yeah, forgive me now. So it's okay. Well, yeah, but did I, uh, <laughs> What have you done? Huh? Why are you so stupid? Come here. <laughs> what did you do that for? Uh, the days are far running, my friend. Mm. I can't wait for us to go for service and be posted in the same state. I don't understand. Why would you want them to post us to the same state? They tie our placenta together. Yeah, so you don't like it? It's not like I don't like it. I was just joking. It's a simple question now. <laughs> if you don't want it, no problem. I'll tell my uncle not to bother. So they will throw you in a funnel. I want Mrs. Connection. Don't be angry. I was only joking. Mm. Uh, please don't call that your uncle. Oh. <laughs> By the way, I met a lawyer who said he would allow me use his chambers in Inugu. Are you serious? Very serious. <laughs> wow. My friend. Uh? My barista at law. No, call the name with respect. Barista IJ. Oh, sorry. Say it. Barista IJ. Uh -huh. Say it very well. Barista IJ. And my estate manager. <laughs> All you need to do is just holler me on the phone. Barista IJ, you need to come over to the estate and manager right now so Aww. that we can do something together. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. This is so good and I'm so thankful to you. But I'm Nandi. Auntie Kate is here. And you said you both are not quarreling. Yes, we're not. Um, we're not quarreling. Are we quarreling? 
Why are you lying to the little girl? I made a mistake. You refused to understand with me upon all my plea. You didn't even know about this. I was the one that told you, yet you judged me with my honesty. One name. Since Amarachi here has been used to tie up this relationship, please forgive her. Most times, when people say the truth to free their mind, let that truth not be used against them. Eh? Please. So many people are in terrible situations today for their truthfulness. We are alone because they are. Please. Kate, I did not use the truth against you. Just very hurts that um, that the seed I planted was terminated. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I regret everything I've done. I'm sorry. Please. You're a good woman, Kate. And so today I forgive you. In spite of everything, you kept coming here. In spite of my meanness towards you, in spite of the harsh words, in spite of the insults, you kept coming. Your love for me remained steadfast in spite of everything. You are indeed a good woman. The way that you have taken your marachi as your own also says a lot about you. There's a time heals wounds. Time has indeed healed this wound. I'm letting it go. And I'm saying that we can start afresh, if you will. Hmm? Yes. I want you to tell your father that the prince of Omucheke and his royal entourage will be coming to ask for your hand in marriage, for I would like for you to be my wife. Yes, I will. That's right, darling. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait a minute, Nadia. I still don't get this. I, I need you to break this down to me. Please. This person is a childhood friend. I actually went to the same school together. Um, you know, we're just... And we also belong to the same WhatsApp group, you know. We're talking someday on the phone and, you know, he heard Amara's voice and asked me, who the person was and being that he's an old time friend I couldn't lie to him so I told him the truth and it touched him you know and he said that I, that I should you know allow him be a part of her life and the mother's life I mean he, he said that to you just like that this person in question doesn't even know who I am why would he want to foot my bills well, according to him, he said that the story I had told him at the time was pathetic, you know, and that um, he's really moved and he really wants to be a part of your life, you know. And I kept asking why he said, you know, I mean, that you must have gone through a lot, you know, the rape, the pregnancy, how all of that had cut your dream short. And he wanted to invest in you and make sure that you get quality education. So he told me to allow him pay your school fees and send you gifts from time to time. It would interest you to know that this man actually refunded me. 
<laughs> um, but little I had already spent. I'm telling you, I'm serious. We have good people around, you know. It's be I mean, this is beyond being good. This person doesn't even know me. I, I need to know where this man is, at least to say a very big thank you to him. Please. You know, some people are really private. And you know, they say that when a good man does something, he does not have his name printed everywhere. I wouldn't sleep well if I don't get to meet this person. I need to see him and say thank you. I mean it's an MD, please. I need to. You sure you want to see him? Of course I want to. He's busy though. He's a banker. Ah, always traveling and all, but I'll talk to him. I'll see how I can get him to come here and see you and, you know, you two talk. What did I hear you say? Bring him here? Yes. I am talking about taking me to him, myself, Mama and Amarachi. We need to go to him, kneel down and say thank you. This is someone who saw me through school. And you're talking about bringing him to my house? No, I need you to take me to him. I need to thank him, please. I you know, I'm shocked. Just like that. Just like that. Jama, why are you not picking your call? Mama, I have warned this beast. I have warned this idiot, this son of a nonentity, to stop calling my phone. He has refused. The next thing I will do is to block his line. Hey! Jama, what big you want to do? What is your problem? What is your problem? Who do you think you are? Eh? Prince have told you to forget about all this and move on with your life. Oh, you Hey! Let me tell you, that young man is still the father of your child. He has come here several times to beg for forgiveness, for mercy. What is your problem? Eh? You never know. He may even ask you to marry him since he is the father of your child. Mama, is I know. God forbid. God forbid. Come on, come on. Run and let me die. For what? Mama, Biko. Biko. That is not the reason I called you. I called you here so that we can know what to do about what the prince told me. Concerning the man that has been helping me. That's the only reason I called you here. Drop this, this, this story now. I beg you. Hey! No, tell me who you resemble. It's not me now. Your late father was never like this. Maybe I couldn't marry. Because from my own, you couldn't name whatever, Gaba. My lineage. Nothing like unforgivable spirit. Mba. Hey. As for what you said about the uh, tense uh, 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 visit, we will go. That young man worth it. In fact, he worth more, more than his visit. I never knew that people with good hearts still exist. Hmm. Am I on cha 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 cha? Man, now you are talking. Now you are making sense. These are the kind of men we should be talking about. Now call him Makakakakoni. That's idiot. Because when are we going? I am happy that both of you are coming together again. And now that you are getting set for marriage, I want to advise that both of you learn how to accommodate each other, learn to tolerate each other, and live in peace. Namundi is not going to ascend the throne of this kingdom because the kingship of this kingdom rotates amongst villages. I have told him that on no account should he go into contest with anyone or track anything with anyone. Even if I'm dead or alive, he should not contest it. I want peace and harmony in the kingdom. Tell your father 
that I will personally come to see him before the wedding date proper. Are we in pregnancy? My son, you do not have to leave your blood outside like most foolish men do. That because they do not know the value of one's blood, one's child. Um, that's aside. I investigated, and a reliable source told me that that child is in the palace. Yes, and one man has been paying her school fees, even that of her mother. Yes. Um, and let me shock you. Do you know that Ijoma later studied law? And as we are speaking, she is practicing as a lawyer, having gone to law school. Do you know that? Father, how did you get this information? <laughs> Have you forgotten that the king is my personal friend? A close member of the cabinet told me everything. But what I want you to do is do everything within your power to bring back your daughter. If the mother agrees to marry you, that's better. But I doubt. Because the way she has been turning down your pleadings and all that, that marriage might not hold. Well, Papa, the thing is, I've, I've done everything humanly possible. I've tried so hard to even see my daughter, but, uh, you know, all my efforts have been proven abortive. Mm, it has not proven abortive. I want you to go to the palace, meet the prince, talk to him, man to man. He will allow you to see your daughter. And when you see your daughter, try and make her to understand that you are her father. Eh? Um, while you are doing that, do not forget to plead with each other to forgive you and forget. Hmm? Uh, it's all right, Papa. I will do exactly what you said. And that's good. And <coughs> find me some money there or pocket money. Or My boss is empty. Or call But Papa, I gave you some money last week. Just last week. Have you forgotten who your mother is? She took everything from me and converted it to her personal use. But I gave eh? her two. I gave her two. If I have forgotten women and money, okay, I could go broke. You people spend money. I give you big money. I give you big money, a good amount of money just last week. Ah, but you know, your, your mother has a big problem. She took the money to solve her big problem. I trust you that when you come, you will recharge me. It's alright, I, I will shoot in some money to your account. Okay, Uma, thank you. But, Papa, did you say Joma read law? Oh, yes! Yes, hello, Uma. Okay. Yes, you said I should wait for your call by night. I waited, I didn't see your call. Oh, no, you don't expect me to call because I'm on Kisi Kwado. Maybe you are in the midst of this and that, you know. <laughs> so how did it go? Please, that's your own story. I don't want stories. One name. I'm one name. One name. One So what will you do money? All right, bro. All right. That's good. Okay. All right. <sighs> Young lady. So? Nothing much, mother. 
-hmm. Guess what? Okay, go on. Hmm. I went to see Joma this morning. Okay. She was so friendly that she listened to me. So, she's a lawyer. Father told me yesterday. Though I'm not surprised because she used to be very intelligent when she was with us. So, if she, you know, went to school and read law, that's good for her. So, what did she say? <sighs> she said she has forgiven you. That there is no point in having grudges in her heart. Guess what? Yes. She even promised to show me your daughter when next I come. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, it's okay. <laughs> come on. Are you sure she said this to you? Yes, now. Or you want me to call her? Because she gave me her number herself. Oh. Oh. I can get my phone from the room. Good news. <laughs> Don't worry about your phone. Oh my god! That means there is light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, a very big light. Oh. There is hope. Come on. There is hope, brother. We will soon be there. We are there. Right? We are almost there. <laughs> My friends, I go there. No, 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 So I heard you. Sorry. Very sorry. Chinedu is my childhood friend. We've been friends uh, from our primary school days. We even went to the same secondary school. And then of course life happened. He had to find his path in life. I had to find mine and he traveled. You know, but we kept in touch. We, we kept talking. And on one of those occasions, he, he heard Amarachi's voice over the phone and, you know, jokingly inquired if I, if I have a child and... <clears throat> I told him no. I told him how I met Amara and... Um, my story got him more curious and he wanted to know exactly who the mother is and I told him about you and the village how I took the child from you took her to the palace he told me but he knows who you are and he admitted that he um, he violated you something that he's not proud of Something that still haunts and hurts him. And he begged me to help him make amends with you. 
<laughs> he kept calling. He wanted to know how you were faring. He wanted to know what you were up to. How Amarachi was doing. I assured him that Amara is in the palace with me. <laughs> I told him that your life was taking a good turn and he decided to be a part of it. I want you to know <laughs> that he's the one that paid for your education. He kept sending money under my name to see that you get the best. He kept sending money under my name to take care of Amaraji here. He started playing his role as a father and I was quite moved. And so I gave him my word. But when the time comes, that when a day like this comes, I would bring him here so that you can please hear him out. Please. Ijoma. I know. I know that I shattered your dreams. But I have to amend it. What I did was was very, very wrong. I did something that is unforgivable. But please forgive me. I know better now. I'm a changed person. I'm a better person. I'm, at least I now know that bad friends can go a long way to influence someone in, in such a disastrous manner. But please, just find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm, I'm deeply sorry. I'm so sorry. Please. You mean he, he paid for my legal studies? Yes. He paid for everything from start to finish. Everything, law school, everything, he paid in the hopes that one day you would grant him audience and hear him out and find it in your heart to forgive him. Just like you have made a turn around, he has also made a turn around. Ijama, I give you my word, but Chinidu is a better man now. Please. See if you can give this another chance. Please. I think I've learned my lesson. And I want to set this right again. Give me a second chance just to write my wrong. I'll make it up to you. I forgive you. From my heart. I forgive you and I also want to say thank you thank you for bringing back my dying dream thank you for everything God bless you thank you Look at Aunt Yudoka. She gives me food and buy for me clothes. She and grandma will always save me anytime my mom is beating me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. 
Just give me a second chance to write my wrongs. Please forgive me. I am sorry for the past. I regret all my attitude. Please forgive me. Just give me a second chance to write my wrongs. Oh. Antidoka, I, I don't know, but uh, please have this. Please have it. It's just a way of saying thank you for everything. Thank you for for everything. You say token of appreciation. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. How am I supposed to know that saving and helping Amarashi will result to this? Thank you. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Yes, it's okay. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. The phone man. Me kwano kachi me kemara. Hadi di ba o. Kristi na nadi kachi me kemura. Hadi di ba chi. Hey, me kwano kodo kuna mora. Hadi di ba o. Hey, hadi di ba chi. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, amalasi. Oh yeah, oh ah. See what you detest. It's another person's prayer point. What you reject, another person will accept it. So don't you look down on anybody. Don't you take anybody for granted. Everyone's a blessing. Everything is a lesson. Accept your fate and try to live on. Oh, value everything you've got. Try to value everything you've got. Cause we're a treasure.